DCS crew, welcome back to yet another knife review. So today we're going to look at a uh, an interesting knife from uh, Best Tech Knives. You know that you know I'm a big fan of Best Tech. Uh, my buddy Eric is part of the customer service team there that services North American accounts. So if you are in the U.S. or anywhere on this side of the country. Um, he is the person that will go ahead and help you out. Be sure to go ahead and check out his YouTube channel at uh, The Outer Limitless. And uh, yeah, so uh, getting to the review today, we're going to check uh, model number 2500 in their catalog from Poltergeist Works. This is the Best Tech Delta. Go ahead and show you both sides here. And we're going to go ahead and get started with the review after the intro. Stay tuned. <laughs> guys welcome back and thanks for tuning in so today uh like i mentioned earlier in the intro we're gonna go ahead and check out the best tech delta this is a titanium frame lock with an interesting blade uh interesting size too uh this is from poltergeist works and there is the uh, maker's mark for them um poltergeist works makes some really cool custom and mid-tech designs and this is one where um i got to go ahead and check out one of their production folders that was made uh, by Best Tech Knives. So um, this is a pretty interesting looking folder, as you can see. Um, the 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 pivots over here are not Torx, as you can see. They're actually hex, so that's one thing to consider. But before I get too far into the interview, let me could just go ahead and get started with the uh, specs over here to the right. And that way you can find out a little bit more about this knife. They do make a few variants of it. And uh, what you have here is uh, titanium, frame lock so you've got scales that are titanium on both sides you have the titanium clip and you have s35 vn steel as designated right here under the well by the flipper okay you have the maker's mark right there and you have the best tech logo as well as some uh text that states best tech knives now as far as the lockup what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open it and that way you can go ahead and see exactly what the lockup looks like right there it's fairly decent is what it looks like when it's closed. Presentation side, rear, lock side, and the front. This particular model came very nicely centered. It's got some nice jimping for you to be able to go ahead and hold here. Uh, not the biggest knife, as you can see. I can get three fingers and kind of just wrap one right here towards the bottom. Uh, initially, when you look at this, it has that kind of like Warncliffe style blade, but it's, it's actually not uh, perfectly straight and I wish I had something here that I could use as a uh, let me go ahead and show this here it's not perfectly straight if you uh, if you line it up against the uh, uh, against paper there's a very slight inward curve and that means it is more like a um, a hawk bill design so it's 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 a one cliff with a slight hawk bill kind of like inward kind of curve but it's actually extremely slicey as you can see, the grind is nice and aggressive on this, and the lines are just perfect. The OEM work by uh, by Best Tech is just fantastic. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's something that I was really interested in checking out because of the fact that I do know about Poltergeist Works, and I've seen some of the stuff that has come out from the company, and they make some really wicked designs. Uh, not a lot of people know about them. I mean, there are people that know, but I feel like they deserve a lot more attention for the kind of stuff that they do. Um, a couple of things that kind of threw me off though, this right here, I wasn't really too sure what, what this was for here. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It just kind of feels like it catches on stuff, but um, I don't know. It's just, that was something that kind of threw me off and um, I'm not really feeling that. Now, as far as the jimping though, the jimping is spot on. You do have jimping right here under the flipper tab and you do have some jimping right up here. So it allows you to be able to go ahead and grasp it nice and firmly. Um, but you also have uh, the fact that with these holes over here, you can actually thread a, uh, a lanyard through there and have a nice lanyard to go ahead and just ditch the pocket clip uh, and just go ahead and, and uh, run it that way, which I think that would probably be a pretty good uh, setup. Um, this does run on bearings from the feel of it. 
yeah, I, I did see that inside it does. And then the, the flipping is very, very easy to go ahead and actuate. Um, one thing I thought was pretty cool is that they did uh, put these two lines in the titanium right over here. And that actually reminds me of a Kaiser knife that uh, I've been using a lot lately. It's, it's an older school uh, Kaiser knife. It's the Kaiser Rogue. As you can see over here, they went ahead and they colored it in uh, or actually they blackened it. But uh, it does remind me of these lines, but it's not as aggressive as this. Um, these are a little bit more shallow and a bit more smooth. So that's something to consider. And um, yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, all that I initially wanted to, to, to tell you about. Um, let's go ahead and see the size comparison between uh, the Poltergeist Works Delta uh, from Best Tech and uh, a couple of others. So small knives, we'll start with uh, this little guy right here that bit the hell out of me uh, during my review. That's the uh, CJRB and Swag's collaboration, the Mylea. Here's the uh, CJRB uh, Feldspar. This is the small version. We have the Kershaw Dividend over here, 420 high carbon steel, but USA made. So that is uh, pretty dope. We have the Civivi Backlash or as I like to call it, the black lash. That's the blackened blade with the black and carbon fiber uh, scales. And we have the Hogue Deca, USA made Elisha Witz design and 20 CV steel. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and show off the Kershaw bare knuckle, 14C 28 and steel, reliable knife, also US made from Kershaw. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> my thoughts on this particular knife. Well, the truth is, um, I'm a little conflicted because for this kind of size, um, I don't know. It's, it's just kind of, I kind of feel like this would have done well, um, as a, as a thumb stud actuated knife instead of a flipper. Um, this is probably based on one of the, uh, you know, the mid tech or the custom designs that he uses and he probably just went ahead and translated to a uh, production design. It's been a while since I've looked at, at uh, his lineup, so I can't really tell you for sure. But um, I do know that it's a, it's got a very nice clean look, okay? This uh, kind of Warren, Warren Cliff slash Hawkbill look is sick. And as you can see, you look at that grind, it's nice and symmetrical. I mean, beautiful on both sides. Um, this is gonna have some really awesome uh, you know, precision cuts. And, and I mean, that tip is great for stabbing, uh, you know, stabbing just regular media guys. I'm not telling you to go stab people with this, just an FYI. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I'm digging it. It's not too uh, thin in the hand. You'd think something that, that is actually small like this would actually be a bit thin. Um, I think the overall size, if I can go ahead and look here. Yeah, you're, you're looking at just about six inches uh, on this, you know, and it kind of surprised me because I was I was thinking that it'd be a little bit smaller than it really feels. But one thing I just really can't wrap my hand around of, I guess you could say, is when I put my hand here and I put my thumb up here, uh, thumb up here on the jimping, my thumb actually starts to move up and hit this little area right here that's like kind of scalloped in. And I'm not really feeling that. I don't like that. Um, you see the nice little swedge that they put up here that kind of flows with the, uh, the top portion of the knife right there, the knife spine all the way to the front. There's a lot of little details on this knife that, that have gone into it. I think if they made it a little bit bigger and maybe a thumb stud variant, I would really like it a lot more, but uh, this probably would not be something that I would EDC because I have other small knives uh, with uh, a different blade shape that fit a, uh, a similar purpose. Like as an example, you know, I have the Mylea. The Mylea obviously doesn't have S35VN, it has RPM9, but this is a nice little knife. It has a it has more of a robust tip. Uh, I don't mind that it doesn't have uh, titanium, you know, uh, handles, you know, scales. It does have a liner lock, which is not the best, but uh, it does have a deep pocket clip, and it is thumb stud actuated, or you can use it as a front flipper. So that's really my thing. Plus, you're gonna get this for a whole lot cheaper than you get. Uh, in fact, you can get a couple backups with this guy, or get them in all the different color variants before you can pick up something like this, because it is a bit more expensive, being that it does have you know, more costly steel and more costly uh, materials. Not the biggest fan of the pocket clip, um, but you know, it does serve its purpose. It has, It is actually pretty uh, well done. It's got that kind of like spoon look here, but it's actually not as obtrusive on the, uh, 
the pocket as you as you would think it doesn't really hurt here which is usually the biggest issue for most of those kind of spoon style clips they have you know like a part here that kind of like curves up and when you hold it in your hand it ends up leaving a, a mark on your hand once you've had it you know in your hand for a while and this one doesn't do that so i, I will give kudos to that um it is springy but uh it does feel like it could break like there is like a kind of a um i want to say a weak spot over here that could break with a little bit of give. So I am a little concerned with that. And when you have a non-US company and you have clips that are from just not very common knives, it's gonna be kind of difficult to get them to be able to go ahead and replace that in a timely manner normally. I mean, you know, I'm sure Eric from The Outer Limitless would be more than happy to help you if something happens, but just consider that. Plus, if you're gonna go ahead and take this part, do realize that you're gonna need hex bits. You're not gonna be able to use Torx for this because of the fact that it has these unique, uh, you know, pivots and uh, these screws over here, which is really cool. It is a really, really cool design and setup, but I mean, not necessarily my cup of tea if I'm just used to the old plate Jane, you know, using the pivots to go ahead and unscrew everything. Cause you know, uh, if you're gonna go ahead and try to unscrew it on the fly, you're not gonna have the tools necessary to take care of it. And it's gonna become a bit of an issue, especially if uh, the steel on these, these pivots or even these screws are a little bit soft and you end up uh, stripping them. Uh, I'm not sure if they have Loctite or anything like that on them and that, that could create a problem, you know, potentially. So um, I'm not saying that that's the case. I'm just saying that that's a potential issue. I will say though that it came very nice and straight right out of the box and um, the edge actually looks very nice and symmetrical. I did go ahead and check that out here. It does have a nice uh, uniform style edge and it tapers to a very, very thin edge uh, right at the top. So uh, that being said, that's my review on the Best Tech Delta from Poltergeist Works. This is model number 2500 from their collection, Titanium S35VN. Nice little worn cliff with a very slight, slight leaning towards a, uh, a hawk build design. It's not as aggressive as say, uh, I think it's the Ivy um, that the uh, that Ostop Hell came out with that had that kind of like a more of a hawk build design, but um, there is that kind of leaning towards it. And you can see it a little bit more when uh, when you have it in your hand. Um, but still, very very nice. It's very sharp, very stabby tip for for you know media, uh, non organic media. I hope is what you're going to be using it for. But uh, just know this is a pretty cool design if you're into. Uh, stuff from Poltergeist Works and you don't want to spend the pretty penny that it takes to be able to go ahead and pick up some of his items. Uh, this might be a really good start, a uh, nice little foray into his lineup of stuff. And, it, you know, um, Best X OEM is pretty freaking awesome. There's a lot of people like, say, Adam Purvis that use uh, Best X for the OEM. So keep, keep that in mind if you're going to go ahead and consider a Chinese company that's not uh, we slash Civivi or, you know, like Kaiser, that sort of thing. So um, that said, thank you so much for uh, coming by and checking out the knife, guys. And just remember, whether it's this or any of the other knives that I went ahead and showed you, um, just keep in mind, if you EDC, think of DCS. This is the Best Tech Delta. I'm Carlos. You guys have been great. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.